What is up, everybody? This is Saito 407 7th, and we are playing Assassin's Creed Revelations, part 21. And we're talking to this guy, and he he looks like he's bleeding a little bit there. Uh, somebody stabbed him, apparently. And we have to go find this, uh, this dickhead that uh, stabbed him, as you can see. And we're playing the Avenger, so we're going to accept this, we're going to find this bastard, and we're going to stab him. Well, we're going to assassinate him, actually, which entails in stabbing him. Okay, so we're going to run uh, right through here, of course, because we're following the pathway all the way to the green marker. And uh, the path I took, there's a couple people you might want to uh, get you know, get rid of. Like, uh, I'm right here, I go, uh-oh, hurry up. Bye-bye, that's right. Okay. And there should be another one, yep, right down here. He doesn't see me, I'm surprised he didn't see me running down, but that's okay. I like how he turns around and then all of a sudden he's facing the other way again. Because <laughs> I turned him around that quick. Okay, and there he is. Look at that already. So you put your eagle vision on, you locate him, and lock on and assassinate him and somebody next to him. <laughs> you can. I guess you could either run or... I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I bounced right off the wall. You can either... Um, Assassinate these guys, or you can run. But I, I just go ahead and kill these guys. Now, right here, oh, I, I didn't finish hitting square, so it canceled the kill streak out. So, oh well, it doesn't matter. I, I killed him anyway. So we're gonna run back to this guy, as you can see in the blue marker. And I'm surprised I got up there. That was weird. That was kind of a weird jump. Yep. 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 And, oh, I was going to bribe this guy. And I do bribe this guy. Okay. Might as well. I mean, just to get the, just to get the uh, Templar awareness down, I might as well. That's, I like to do that. I don't like to get it too high because I, 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 I hate when your, ta uh, your um, Assassin's Den gets attacked or compromised because I suck at those battles. I suck at them. Okay. Just, you know. So I try to avoid them at all costs. How are you feeling? My wounds will heal. All right, so he is, is seems to be doing a little bit better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna recruit him How can I repay as another assassin because he is well he is filled with honor. So that's why we're going to uh, recruit him. Most certainly. Beautiful. And we're on to our next mission. Hee hee hee. Ah ha ha. Sue. We roll. Well, we run and roll. Okay, we're going to the Assassin's Den. Why? Because we're going to do a Masyaf Key memory. So we get to be Altair again. Of course, at a much older age. So we go through our den, cross our bridge-looking thing there, and we go to our faithful desk. And we get to sit down. <sighs> now, like I said in my last video, as you can see, that's the fourth. I didn't show you how to get the third, but the third one was just basically you're in these caves and you're running after these uh, guys in, in a boat and they have TNT and... And that's pretty much it. Um, I didn't bother to film it. I did, and I ended up erasing it, and I said, screw it, I'm not going to bother. But it's just, it's pretty cut and dry. You just run, and you don't even really have to turn. I mean, it pretty much faces you the right way as you're running and jumping. So that's really simple to get. In order to get full sync in that one, you just had to, uh, don't, you don't take any damage. And you only have to kill five guards at the end, and that's it. Or no, actually, no, you just, you couldn't, uh, well, yeah, that's how you get full sync. And if you just fell in the water at all, you would just desynchronize automatically, so, you know. All right, I don't know what happened there. I guess because it, it showed, it started showing a cutscene, and then it started loading. Okay, this is in 12, looks like 47, uh, Altair at age 82. That's right, he's getting up there. And for this mission, you're not going to be able to be climbing walls or anything, because he, you can't even really run with him, because as soon as you start you can run a little bit, you kind of like limp and run, 
But after a few seconds, he starts, of course. you know, See. wheezing and stuff, and he slows down to a walk, and then you got to wait a little bit, and then you can run again. Many thanks. If you want to call that running. And there he is right there, which they do, not all of them know that, which they don't know that right now. Pity of us. And what we're going to, the whole point of this uh, memory, if you want to say, is we have to kill Abbas. Because he is a piece of shit and we need to assassinate him. But what you need to do for this mission is you only kill Abbas and his guards. Don't kill anybody else or else you'll only get 50%. And <clears throat> what you want to do. Um, when you're because you're gonna be using disarm so that way you just uh, kind of you know use your fists but you don't kill anybody except when you get close to Abbas you can and you can call your assassins for help if you get in the jam which I didn't do I there was a part in here where I should have but that's okay I mean unless you really really get low on health you really don't have to I just I, I ended up screwing up is all it was but I said, eh, screw that. I, I don't need their help. I'll just do this myself. They help you automatically, too. Yeah. Abbas and his captains is the only ones you want to kill. The Obviously, the ones with the targets over their heads, yes, you can go ahead and kill them. But anybody, anybody else where they're trying to fight you, you can either call your assassins to help, or which they'll help anyways if, you know, if they're close by. Or... You can, um, seems to be their sole joy. Uh, you can, you can go ahead and do it yourself. Just go ahead and uh, disarm them, and just kind of, and th they'll, you know, you hit them a couple times, and then they'll say, "Oh, you know, you know what? I respect you. I'm not going to do anything." Okay, so there's your first two targets, and at first I go, "Oh, should I go away different?" Nah, I'll just walk right up to them. They, and you know, you're none the wiser by doing this because they don't know who you are, and you can get right up on them. And as you can see, of course, you've got your double hidden blade at the ready. Hello. Goodbye. Okay. That's the first two. And here is the second one. Now, there's that run and limp type of thing. Well, he's 82 years old. You really can't run very well. I don't know if it's because I was running... And that's why he recognized me, or that how it happens. No matter what you do, even if you just walk slow, I think it happens no matter what. I can't remember. It's been a while since I played this section, but irregardless, it's no big deal. Casually walk. Come on, come on. I don't want to take ten hours just to get to this guy. Okay, those are your those are your friends. Don't Mentor. worry, they they are they have uh, they respect you, and they will help you. So uh, we're still tailing him very slowly, but as you can see, you, he's got some guards that are coming after you. But look, there's your assassins going to help you out. Look at that; they're all over now. I try to try to kind of run, and. I know how to counter kill. Now that guy there. Okay, boom. You got him. On to the next target. On to the next captain. Now right there, normally you would take see where those assassins are going in the upper right hand corner. Yeah, normally you take that way, but you are not gonna make it with out there. You're not in his shape. There's no way. You wouldn't be able to climb up the first step. I'm surprised you can even get up this hill. Yeah, there's some more of your assassins. They're very low. Oh, no, wait, no. <laughs> Never mind. Those guys would have been after you. Okay. And I found out if you run and then walk, run, walk, run, walk, you don't really tire as quickly. But yes, that's your next target. We could use your wisdom. Now more than ever. And those people just disappeared in front of him. Oh, he decided that he was loyal to you. Great. Alright, now 
is is when you can only disarm. Now you've got plenty of assassins for you, like I said, but yeah, you got to make sure you don't accidentally get mad and like fuck this. I'm gonna bring out my hidden blade because then you're gonna only get fifty percent sync, and we don't want to do that. So let's just beat ass until we can get up there where we can get to kill Abbas. Now that guy, he's he's fine with me. There's some people. Yeah, here's here come some people. And all you gotta do is just counter as soon as they hit you. And I'm thinking to myself, oh yeah, I'm gonna do well. I remember doing this the first time and I countered everybody. I didn't get hit once. Well, it wasn't the case this time. Not that time, but the next uh, couple of people. I wasn't paying attention. I turned my back. And you can't really counter if your back is turned. I don't know what happened there either. I, I, I was slow to hit the counter button. But then I realized, well, I could call my assassins, and I said, nah, that's okay. And this guy's still after me. I'm like, that's alright. You can keep coming after me. I will get you eventually. Okay, there we go. Now, we're going to walk right in here, because these guys ain't going to do shit. Welcome back, Because they honor me. And cutscene. Tell your men to stand down. No! And you will see me bring out a piece of equipment that hasn't been invented yet. How is that possible? Well, with the uh, when you uh, uh, when you are in possession of the apple of Eden, anything is possible. You have wasted your life staring into that apple, dreaming of your own glory. And I wouldn't worry about those guys because well, you'll see. Of life and death, of the past and the future. Let me show you. There you go. Look at that. Pull out a gun. And that does it right there. We shot Abbas right in the chest. He's bleeding profusely, probably. I don't know. I don't see any blood, but you know what? Maybe uh, it's there. Don't worry. He's dying, as you can tell. I was ten years old when your father came to see me. He was in tears, begging to be forgiven for betraying my family. Then he cut his own throat. I watched his life ebb away at my feet. Mm -hmm. I will never forget that image. Oh. But he was not a coward, Abbas. He reclaimed I hope there is another life after this one. Then I will see him and know the truth of his final days. And when it is your time, we will find you. And then there will be no doubts. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. So we are coming towards the end of this video. And we will be back in the Assassin's Den here. Right? Am I right or am I not right? Well, of course, the screen has to load and everything. Okay, so uh, we're going to be coming to the end of this video, like I said. And the next one will be Assassin's Creed Part 22. We're going to burn some ships. We're going we're gonna to assassinate some people. But not with our blade, because we are not allowed to. And we're going to be some, doing some running and some jumping and, well, all the usual stuff with Assassin's Creed. But until next time, this is Scyther 477 saying take care, cheers, and so long. Bye bye. The Assassins were his life from beginning to end. He had no other.